Good evening. Thank you for joining us. We have new developments tonight over the spending deal to avert a government shutdown. Congress has passed the bill and now it's going on to President Donald Trump. The president is expected to sign the bill tomorrow morning and at the same time declare a national emergency to get more money for the wall. The current bill only provides for a fraction of the wall money President Trump wanted. And tonight there are mixed reviews from his party. He has all the legal authority in the world to do this, and I will stand behind it. You know, I've been very clear on my concerns about the president declaring this as an emergency. The White House says they are prepared for possible legal challenges and say with this action, the president is keeping his campaign promise to build that wall. And tonight we have a reaction from both sides on this possible move by the president. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink spoke with a law enforcement leader in our community who backs the White House and a Nogales homeowner who sees things quite differently. The national emergency is right there with him. He is the emergency and we better watch out. For 40 years, Chris Cortland has lived three blocks from the border, raising three children in her Nogales home. She says she's appalled by the concertina wire she sees every day up and down what she refers to as this steel border wall. What's happening on the wall in Nogales is repulsive and unsafe, dangerous, ugly. We welcome tourists, but not like this with its, this ugly cloud over us. Just down the road east, Cochise County Sheriff Mark Daniels praises President Trump's efforts to secure the border. For 25 years, we've endured this. So to see our nation's leaders say, hey, let's secure those rural parts of the border where needed, I, I, I'm all supporting that, 100% support that. Daniels is on the Homeland Security Advisory Council, a group that helps shape policy on border security. Our nation's borders are vulnerable in today's world, and uh, and to have Congress and our president in such a debate is sad because every decision they make should be focused on the well-being and the safety of our communities. From her perch, Cortland argues we're at a breaking point. Right now, our Statue of Liberty is crying, and I I don't want her to do that. I want I want uh, I want our United States of America to be back. Now, Senators Kirsten Sinema and Martha McSally and Congressman Raul Grijalva, they have all released statements on the situation at the border, and we have posted those statements on our website for you to read at kvoa.com. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.